Yo, Big Sant here. So, this is my review of Zenland Zone Zero. After around 7.5 hours of playing, so this is pretty much an earlier impression. But yes, I did play Closed Beta 2, and I did not play 3. I just waited for the release. Um, so, my review, I did this on Twitter last night in bed on my phone while I was fresh in my mind, but I was still hella sleepy, okay? I was like out of it, and somehow when I was, uh, Typing this all out, the order came out weird, so I'm gonna try my best to organize this. And, you know, during this review, I might just throw some uh, gameplay in here. Yeah. It may not match, but do what you will. <laughs> Let's just start it off with the TV system. Okay, so I did play Close Beta 2, right? I, like I mentioned, and there were a lot more TVs, yes. And I feel like they, like, they shrunk down some of the, the story parts to cut down most of the TV. But there's still too much TV, okay? I don't want to watch television. I, I I personally don't even watch television in IRL, to be honest. Uh, and I feel like they should just take all that TV stuff. They can put it in the Hollow Zero roguelike mode. It's fine. I, I enjoy having it there. Because um, even if I'm using the TV, my actions, what, my actions and like which buff goes where and where I'm moving actually changes my gameplay right it changes a lot of things here a lot of the time it's just straightforward it doesn't even matter okay you just it's just like a straight line it's like you just move from left to right right you might just start me off why not just start me off right there right just take out that beginning tv part put it right there just start off the fight and then you know continue from there um but personally i i don't want to do the tv mode at all Right, except for that hollow zero part. So they should just remove all that. It put like the combat and then maybe have like the story part within the the combat in the beginning, right? While you're moving, they're just talking in the background or whatever. Uh and they just like do some explosion or just have a graphic, I don't know, something that's like make a short story you wanna tell it that way, like the comic book style, right? Um so they have the story commissions um the exploration commission and combat the combat one's fine because that's straight up combat right they kind of broke it down like that but i i dread doing the exploration and the story because of the tvs <laughs> they're they're like puzzles yeah but they're super easy like feels like i was just wasting time doing these puzzles but i have to do them just to get to the other side it just felt boring okay i don't know it didn't feel too engaging um you move a few times and then they, they give you a fast forward button though compared to the cbd2 so that's great so most of the time i can click it but i wish they allow me to have that on by default like an option just turn that on fast forward by default because personally i already heard, hear this already in cbd2 right i don't need to hear it again <laughs> all right um i just couldn't skip okay okay so let's look at this let's look at this video right here this is from the live stream, okay? Skip button? You can only skip the small dialogues, man. You can't even skip the side quests talking like you have to click through all of the options and obviously in this game options don't even matter your actions don't dictate the story right so what's the point right let me have the skip button i don't want to read all that there's too much text sometimes okay <laughs> like the side quest is not even part of the main story like i understand if you don't you know allow to skip the, the big cutscenes, but at least have the side quest be able to skip uh i personally already saw this so i would like to skip they say they give option where okay um and then i wish the running in the overworld just a little bit faster it feels like you know slog it feels like a slog running from place to place yeah you can press m and then like transfer but in the beginning uh, i don't think you have access to m but yeah you can go m and press the beginning and then walk around they make the place bigger but i just wanted to be faster okay just, just the walking stuff um i wish the events and the bamboos were unlocked a little bit sooner that's just my personal choice. Obviously, it make it easier to reroll if you're rerolling. But I didn't reroll at all, okay? I didn't reroll at all. Okay, let's go with the characters and style. I really do like all the characters' design and how expressive they are, right? Um, personally, 
I like how the five you can't tell the difference between five star and four stars, which is fine by me to be honest. They do have different kits, okay? Um, they all have the perks. Some have got booba, some are cute, right? Some are manly, right? Some are funny, like Billy, right? They all have their own personality. I do like the graphics, the color scheme, the lighting, and the environment is very vibrant, okay? I do like that. Now, I wish that the gotcha system wait before we get there i gotta mention the npc though the, what, even some of the npc like asha oh my god okay anyways in front of the arcade <laughs> now now the gotcha system i do want to advocate that i playing as your favorite character in like any game or whatever like your play style or whatever does change the game a lot for you Right? If you don't get your favorite character, you probably don't want to play anymore, right? I actually kind of felt that, to be honest. I went in wanting the Ice Team, okay? I wanted to play as Ellen and Sukaku and Bon like Because I like kicks, man. I like playing the kicking, punching characters. But in 50 pulls, I got Soldier 11. All right, I'm like, okay, um, when I first played those beta, I got Rena in the beginning. It's not too bad. And then I got Lycanon later, okay? Um, they don't give you that much pulls, though, as close beta. And in close beta, they actually give you a weapon selector. Bro. I feel like I'm getting gypped here, but it is what it is. Um, besides that, I so I got Soldier 11. Right, and then I pull an Ellen banner. I got lucky. I got first S ring in the first temple. No zero pity. Coletta. So, and then while I'm doing the standard pulls, right, for the 50, I also got Ben. So I got a fire come right off the bat, okay? So I know I got lucky. But, and I shouldn't be complaining too much. But, but, but. And I'm free to play. And that team is strong. I, since I like the punching kitchen character, it's just like, damn, I want this. Now, now I gotta, I'm grinding, right? Did barely enough currency for like the limited banner, banner pulls. I think I'm like, so I'm level 23 right now. And I believe I did like three temples on the limited banner, right? And getting these uh, current pooling currency is very small. It's pretty much like Genshin, okay? Each uh, the achievement gives you like 10, five, whatever. Uh, some of the 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 core any of the quests give you only like 200 all right that's the single pull uh and the quests sometimes are a little bit long it kind of depends <laughs> and it takes you a while just to get a temple um they said like a hundred pulls like free pulls but these pulls you still gotta gr some of these pulls you still gotta grind for it okay they give you you have to unlock the event and that takes a while because then they, they, they made it kind of later uh, after the prologue or whatever and prologues decently long i would have to say um it's not too bad though i'm not gonna lie uh and then you get like 50 pulls that's 50 pulls standard banner stuff and if you want to do limited stuff well um, i don't know man that's kind of <laughs> you gotta grind that even more and so the, the another thing is that getting your weapon though for your character it feels like it's gonna take a long time okay it's like if you're unlucky it's just gonna take a long time because unless the limited banner though like ellen and her weapon is there though so at least that is easy to get somewhat but you, you don't get enough currency to like spend on both ish kind of way <laughs> but for the standard characters they're shared the weapon and the the characters for standard are shared so it's good luck getting your weapon or your character because then it's like diluted um good luck though but it just like makes it twice as hard and so let's go into the team building stuff um the team building feels a little bit limited so you either gotta go full elemental or like by faction in a way to get like the most out of it and some of the characters, um, yeah, do you look at the character's kit? 
and then you see the passives and then it tells you what kind of what you want to do maybe it won't be so bad when we get more characters later but it's very limited like some factions only have like three characters and so you need like the that three or whatever to use that to pair up with that to get the buffs along with the bamboo uh i know some of the stuff is like two out of three but if you really want to synergize with everyone you kind of want to need that three you know what i'm saying uh so you're kind of stuck with luck if you want your team to synergize very very well Let's see, progression wise. Um, the progression isn't too bad, right? There's like the core skills, there's the skill upgrades, there's the weapon uh, gear system, and there's the regular weapon system. That, that one is fine. I haven't gotten the part though where I unlock and start grinding for gear, even though they introduced it early. Um, I, they give you like one set for free, and that's pretty much it. And I'm like, yo, where, where's my rest of Where did I grind its gear, man? Uh, and then later you unlock like this kind of like boss battle rush thing. I don't know, it seems like a biz. And that's how you uh, unlock core skills, I guess. So it's not too bad. But my, my main gripe is that when you're getting, trying to get from 20 to 30, in the beginning level, right, when you're like grinding for the ascension mats, from 20 to 30, you need freaking 12 of them. And each, each 20 stamina gives you a chance for two, but you get one. So technically, you got to do this like the worst case scenario 12 times 20 stamina that's 200 that's your whole freaking bar bro just for one character to ascend and then you gotta wait for the whole recharge man i'm like oh my god they give you some ethers though from the battle pass so i was able to get two characters but oh my god now for what what 30 and 40 gonna look like i haven't gotten that part but oh my god the, they need to lower like from from 10 to 20 it's like three all right that's not too bad and that's like the regular one and then this one um you need like the blue ones i uh, i haven't found a way to i think this might be a way to like combine them into one i they don't they don't i must have missed it or they don't explain it too well about like the merging thing or maybe i don't have locked it but i'm pretty sure there's probably a merging thing right uh because they give you a lot of the common ones but not enough of the the blue ones that you need okay but yeah that, that's my thought so far on that part um combat combat oh i know no, actually let's go back to the skip stuff so there's also the messaging dm stuff that i missed earlier but I wish you could speed it up or skip that too, because most of the time I just don't care what you gotta say. Just give me the next quest. Alright, just give me the next one. <laughs> alright, alright. Now now back to the combat. I do find the combat enjoyable, right? Some of it is mashing. But if you have like characters like Soldier Eleven, um, if you look at their kits, I think Coletta actually have um it's like Lin Yang kind of thing. Like every two or four hits, if you do the EX skill, you get that you get that flame buff. And then when you do your combo again, it changes it. Um, for Soldier 11, you got to time your attack. I still can't figure out like the, like, the, the indicator on the time. I'm just trying to like mentally time it in my mind to get the fire damage. <laughs> so you get the bonus fire damage. You can see it happening. But yeah. Um, so And then the swapping and the parrying isn't so bad. I, I enjoy it. Uh, there's other characters like Vaughn. Like, you can do... If you charge it, you do the ice, you do the ice variant of it. So you, most of the time you want to charge it. And then you like running around, getting that swim in and then doing the ice scissors. Uh, so Haku, you can, you can spam the skill when you have the EX to do the fan attack or you can hold it and do like the twirling thing, anomaly stuff. So I find the combat still kind of enjoyable. It's not too bad um, right now. I know some people complain mashing and stuff, but you can beat it mashing. Um, later in the in the game, I did notice I get hit a lot, but I have Ben, so I can just counter all of them. So it is what it is. In the beginning, it's not. It, it, it's it, they're like brain dead easy, uh, but later on, they they do give you a little bit hard enemy. It's still not hard, but a little bit hard enemy. I even picked the challenging mode straight, straight up because I already played it before. Um, and the CB2, they didn't have the, they didn't have the modes, I believe. Okay, so, I also want to have more multiplayer stuff. 
there is a friends list if you click on your profile and then it's like most of the friends list on there uh and then have recent multiplayer stuff i'm assuming maybe i unlock it later or something but or they they planning it but right now like we have the friends list but what does it do it doesn't do anything do you give people energy or anything like cooking run tower adventures i don't see anything of it and we have the memory board to share uh but it's whatever right it's like and by default it's not even shared <laughs> you have to go in there and click oh share with friends and what like personally i don't care for decorating the wall um uh, and i don't have one picture to put on there and that's it uh so it is what it is uh it's for i guess people it's like side content that they're cool but it doesn't entice me at all uh for the story uh i do like the action scenes not gonna lie they did ask some action scenes that wasn't close beta 2, like the Fox Girl. I didn't see that. That was pretty cool. Um, other than that, I usually don't play game for story, so I usually skip them anyways. And I do watch the big cutscenes in most games. Not too bad. All right. Um, and I do plan to play this until the end game. And I want to join more of the Hollow Zero. Like, I really like the Hollow Zero, even with the TVs, right? Dictating your buffs and stuff. I do like the Hollow Zero stuff. Um, they should just put the TVs there only, remove everything else, like I said. And it's not a bad game, okay? It's just not anything too amazing, not groundbreaking. It's okay game. It's okay. It's okay. It's something new. It's enjoyable, right? Maybe after the honeymoon phase, it'd be, I mean, it for sure is gotcha game, right? It's going to get to the point where you just do dailies and everything um so it is what it is that's my review let me know if i miss anything you want me to have touch on or just come by the stream and uh yeah with that later days